Hey there ladies and gents and welcome to my next video. Please don't shoot me, but I still haven't got around to doing that e-commerce website. I, I, I'm basically halfway through it. So I, I'm not going to say when I'm going to release it. I'm hoping next week, otherwise the week thereafter. But until I get that done, I will keep releasing these mini tutorials so you guys can try some different things with Divi. So first of all, I'd just like to thank you for watching this video, taking the time out of your busy day to watch this. It really means a lot to me that people are watching my videos. So thank you for that. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make this stack card layout. And when you hover over it, you'll see it then flattens out and you can have content with a, maybe a button in the card. And then let me just move away and then you'll see it stacks again. And when I just hover over it, you'll see there's some nice animation effects where the content comes in at different times. So let me just hover away and do that again. As you can see, the content like card one comes in first and then a couple of split seconds later, card two comes in and a couple of split seconds later, card three comes in. So I hope you guys will enjoy this again. On this tutorial, I'll give you all the code I have, all the code you have for you. So it's just going to be a, a matter of copying and pasting the code, and I'll show you where to do that. So just to shout out to online tutorials, I got the idea of this card layout from their YouTube video, and I'll link to the YouTube video in the description if you want to watch it. So in order to follow along with this tutorial, you are going to need Divi. So if you don't have Divi, I do have a link in the description where you can purchase Divi. And if you need web hosting or a domain name, then I recommend going to Green Geeks. And I do have a description to their website down below. And they're running the special at the moment for August. So on their annual plan, you can pay this $2.95 per month, meaning for the entire year, this is what you're going to pay, $45.35. And that includes a free domain name as well. So that's what you would pay for the first year. Just obviously, when you renew after the year is up, the price will revert back to the $131. So just so that you don't get a sneaky surprise at when your renewal comes up. So just remember that, although you're paying this $45 now for the first year, when it renews, after the year is up, the price is going to revert back to this $131. So if you do need web hosting that, check out Green Geeks. Like I said, there is a link in the description. And guys, just to be upfront with you, if you purchase Divi or the hosting through my links in the description, I do receive a commission. And if you do do that, thank you so much. It really means a lot. And I do appreciate it because it does help me out as well as my YouTube channel. Let me just close this. We don't need that anymore. And just one thing I want to mention, this card layout is not suitable for smaller screen um, sizes like tablets and phones. So I would only recommend you do this on desktop and then make a, a new section for a tablet and phone. So in this tutorial, I'm only going to concentrate on desktop. I'm not even going to try adjust this for, for smaller screens because obviously... The, when you hover over it and it comes to the this layout, this layout that won't fit on a, on, on smaller screen. So just use this for desktop guides and then make a separate section for your tablet and mobile views or phone views. Okay, so enough talking. Let's get into it. So I've already created a new page. I'm not going to go through all that again like I normally do in the beginning of my videos. I've created a new page. I've opened the Divi Builder and I'm brought to this. Obviously, if you already have an existing website and you just want to put the section into your website, then just go and add a new section wherever you want to put this card layout. First thing we're going to do, let's head over to the section settings zone. Let's click on the gear icon. Let me just make this a bit smaller. First thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to change the background color to this blue color. And guys, for the colors, you can use anything you want. I'm just using these default Divi colors. The next thing I'm going to do, we're going to go to the design tab. I'm going to come to sizing and then under min height here, 
I'm going to make this 90 VH. Then you'll see our entire section now fills the entire height of our screen. And then the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come to the advanced tab here and I'm going to click on custom CSS and we're going to go over to the pen here and there is a link to this pen in the description below. So you can just click on that link, open it in a new tab and you'll get to a page like this. And then I've named this here section custom CSS and in brackets I've said your main element. So we're just going to copy, we don't need to copy what I've commented here, we're just going to copy the code. So let's copy this code that says display flex. And let's go back to our page builder. And in the main element here, let's just paste that in there. And you should see this green button for the row should move into the middle of the screen. So that's all we're going to do for the section setting. So we can save that. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to add a row. So let's click on the green button to add a new row and we only need one column so let's select that option and then for the module I'm just going to put in a text module and now I'm just going to change this content so this I'm going to name card one and then I've just got some Lauren Ipsum text show that I'm going to paste into over here and this card one I'm just going to make this a heading let's make it a heading four and then we can just go style. So I'm not going to do major styling here. I'm just going to maybe make the heading uppercase and maybe make it bold. And then for the paragraph text, I'm just going to leave it as is. Then let's go to the advanced tab and let's click on CSS ID and classes. And under CSS ID, we're going to name the ID DG hyphen content hyphen, and then the numeral one. Just make sure you've got that in for your CSS ID. And then for CSS class, we're just going to name this TXT hyphen content. I'll just maybe pause here and then just copy this exactly as I have it here. So we can save that now. Now let's go into our row settings. So let's hover over the row. We'll get this green box and we'll click on this gear icon to go into the row settings. First thing we need to do, let's come over to the design tab and let's click on the sizing option. We then want to come down here to height and we want to set that to 400 pixels. We then want to come to the advanced tab and under the CSS ID and classes, we want to give this row a class. So make sure you come to CSS class and in there, we're going to type dg hyphen card hyphen container. So, guys, again, just pause and make sure you've got the correct spelling and everything, and you've got the hyphens where they need to be. And then let's go back to the content tab and let's go into this first column here and let's click on the gear icon to go into the column settings. The first thing we want to do, we want to change the background of the card. So, let's click on the background option. We'll click on this gray button that says add background color. And I'm going to make this a off white. So that is my hex code there. And if you want to copy me exactly, you can use that. Otherwise you can make this background color any color you want. So let's save that. Next thing we want to do, let's go to this design tab and let's come to the spacing option. And just on the left and right, we're going to change this. So let's click on this chain link and let's make it 25 pixels on left and right. So you should see there's a, a bit of gap there now. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to add some a shadow to this. So let's click on the box shadow option and let, let's select the first option here. Then we're just going to change some of these values here. So for the horizontal position, the first one here, Let's change that to 25 pixels. Then for the box shadow vertical position, let's also make that 25 pixels. And then for the box shadow blur strength, let's make that 100 pixels. And then the box shadow spread strength, we can leave as zero. Let's just go into our color here. This is set at 0 0.3, but I want to make it 0 0.2. Just so that the shadow is not so hard. 
And let's go to the advanced tab and let's come to our CSS ID and classes. Let's open that up. And for the CSS ID, we're going to name this DG hyphen card hyphen the numeral one. And then under CSS class, we're just going to name this DG hyphen cards. So if I just pause here and just copy the ID in the class exactly as it is there. If you don't copy it exactly as I've typed it there, the code's not going to work for you when you copy and paste it into the Divi Builder. So we're done with that. We can click the green button here to save and then just click it again to save. Then let's also add a button into our card here. So let's click the add new module button and let's search for button. And then I'm just going to select the button. And then, yeah, you can put anything. I'm just going to type in more info for the button text. Just remember to link to the button. I'm not going to link it anywhere, but just remember to put your button link in there. Then let's go to the design tab. And the alignment, I'm going to leave it as is. All I'm going to do is maybe change some styles of the button. So for use custom styles, I'm going to select yes. And I'm just going to rush through this, guys. You can change the button how you want it. I'm not going to really dabble on this too much. So I'm just going to make the button text size 16 pixels. The button text color, I'm going to make white. The background color, I'm going to do black. I might just give it a different color on hover. So I'll just maybe drop the opacity down to around 70%. It gives it this light gray color. Okay, for button border width, I'm not going to use a button border width. So, um, for the button border radius, I'm probably going to make this like 2M. So it gives us that pull shape. The button letter spacing, maybe make it one pixel to give us more space between the letters. The font I'm going to leave as default. The font weight, I'm going to maybe, I'm going to actually leave it as regular. Button font style, I'm going to make it all uppercase. Show button icon, I'm going to select no. And then maybe just give it some spacing for padding. So for top and bottom, I'm going to probably make the 0.5M. And then for left and right, maybe something like 2.5M. So there is our button all done. Right, so we can save that. And now what we can do, what we actually need to do, we need to go back into the row settings. And we're going to duplicate the column two more times. So let's duplicate it twice. And then let's save that. Let's just come into this text and I just want to change the heading. So from card one, I'm going to change this to card two. Save that and then change this to card three. Uh, sorry if there's noise in the background with birds and TVs and that. It's after Hopper's five year and the family's home and the boy, the, not the boys, the birds are making a noise outside. All right, so that's all I want to do for that. So one thing I forgot to mention, there's a, a couple of changes we need to make here. So first of all, this button, I forgot to do this. Let's go into the button settings. Let's go to the advanced tab and let's come to the CSS ID and classes. We actually need to give the button a CSS ID and class as well. So for the CSS ID, we're going to call this DG hyphen content hyphen one then under CSS class we're going to name this btn hyphen content so guys just again pause here and just make sure you got the ID and class exactly as I have it here then the next thing I forgot to do let's just save this let's come to the row settings let's come to the advanced tab and let's go down to position here make sure the position is on relative and we want to change the Z index to minus one. Just make sure you do that. It'll disappear, but don't worry about that. Then let's save that. And then let's come to the section settings. Again, come to the advanced tab, come down to position and make sure your Z index here is minus two. Then your card should appear again and then save that. So I think that is all now for working in the Divi Builder. Now we're going to come over to this pen. Again, the link is in the description. And you'll see I've got this heading here, page settings, custom CSS. 
So copy all that code underneath that heading and come back to the Divi Builder and then come to the bottom here and click on this gear icon for the page settings. Then come to the advanced tab and then come to custom CSS and then just in the custom CSS block there, just paste that code. Okay, so that's all done. So I don't know why this button's still showing, but I might have to just do some troubleshooting here. Let's just save this. And let me open this in a new tab. Okay, I know what the problem is here. We need to rename some things here. So we won't be able to really work on the front end here now. So let's just go into the wireframe mode and let's go into the row settings and let's come into the second column. Let's click on the advanced tab. Let's come to CSS ID and classes. And instead of one year, let's change this to two. So it's just the ID we're changing. Make sure you change that to two. Click on this back button, come to the third column, go to advanced, click on the CSS ID and classes and make sure we change that to three. Again, just the CSS ID, not the class. Then we can save that and save that. Then let's just come to this text or no, we actually need the second text. So make sure you're on your second text module, go to advanced, come to CSS ID and classes. Let's change that to DG content two. Again, just the ID and let's do the same for the third text module. Come to advanced CSS ID and classes and change this to three. They just come to the button here. I just want to check the first one if we added everything. Okay, we did. So come to the second button, come to advanced, CSS ID classes. So we haven't added any of that in there. So I'm just going to come to this first button here. And I'm just going to copy that and paste it into the second button and change it to two. And just for CSS class, let's just name this btn hyphen content and then let's come to the third button let's go to the advanced tab let's come to css id and classes and the css id let's paste our text and then change it to three at the end and for css class again let's give this the class of btn hyphen content so guys just pause there and make sure you've got everything like that so let's save this and we can actually go back to the front end and let's just see what it's looking like. Okay, there we go. That looks better. So let's go back to the front end and refresh the page. There we go. And if I hover over it, the card is now working. And then you can have these buttons link out to other pages if you want. So guys, that's it. That is all you need to do to have cards like this. So I, ho I hope you did enjoy that. If there's any other layout you've seen and you want to know if you can build it in Divi, please drop a link in the description or send me an email with the link. And then if I have a moment or two, I can try make a video to show you how we build it in Divi. Maybe you've seen it on other page builders, but Divi doesn't have that feature. Then I can see if we can build it in Divi and I can post a video about it. And then also, if you guys want to work with, if you want me to build a website for you, please check the link to my website in the description. My email address is there as well. You can book a free call on directly on my website, or you can just send me an email and we can set something up and we can discuss the project and see what you need and everything and take it from there. And the last thing, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, if you found it useful and helpful, please consider leaving a like. It does help the channel. And then also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. That also helps with the YouTube algorithm and gets my video and channel out to more people. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you next week, hopefully with the e-commerce build. If not, another video like this where we build something in Divi that's quick and easy. Cheers, guys.